hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be telling us how to book an accommodation for our visa application it's very easy and straight to the point um this option i'm about to show us is for those that are trying to save money and also for those that um, do not have accommodation offered to them by their school i mean i figured why do we have to spend money just to book an accommodation for a visa application? We haven't gotten the visa yet. I mean, definitely, if you're coming to Malta, you need where you're going to be staying. But for the visa application, this is something we can do in order to save money. Then when we get our visa, we can go ahead to you know, look for real accommodation options. So let's get right into it. So as you all can see, I'm going to be telling us about Booking.com. Um, Booking.com, it's an app where we can book um, our stays. You can find hotel or hostels. You can also book for flights, car rentals, taxi, and so many things. Um, although I didn't use this during my application, I got to know about it after my own application. But then I have a friend that, you know, told me about this and she used it. It worked for her. Although when she used it, it was during the premium visa application. We all know that the visa application now is via VFS. But I feel this is also going to work. Before I go into telling us how to do this, please, I would advise us, if you're going through this route, if you're using the method I'm about to show you to book, your accommodation bear in mind that this is only for your visa application once you get your visa you actually need to get a real accommodation for yourself and please try as much as possible to go for the cheapest one possible i mean you do not want a situation where you let's say you have a proof of funds in your account of about seven million naira and then your um, accommodation it's almost five million or it's really on the high side you do not want that look for the accommodation that is as cheap as possible the cheapest you can find and two weeks is okay i mean two weeks is okay i don't see the reason why you need to go for a month during your interview if you're asked where you're staying you can mention that you have a two weeks um, stay booked already when you arrive Malta in that two weeks, you intend looking for a house. You know, two weeks should be enough for you to be able to get accommodation. So please let's bear that in mind because I heard of a story where a lady was rejected her visa because her accommodation was so high. I think she had, um, like I'm giving an example, she had a proof of fund of an amount of like 10 million and then her accommodation alone was almost amounting to five or six seven million that was actually a lot i think she booked for a month or two which is really on the high side and is not necessary please let's take note of this i felt i should you know let us know about this so we don't fall a victim of this so let's get right into this video i'm just you know saying a lot of things at this point so yes the app is called booking.com you just have to download register and all then um we click on the stays of course what you want is a hostel or what you want is a hotel but please look for the cheapest and please look for an accommodation that is close to your school um for instance if your school is gbs motor gbs motor is located in saint julian's so look for accommodations that is close to saint julian's or in saint julian's so for the illustration now I'm going to be looking for accommodations close to St. Julian's. So our destination here is St. Julian's, Malta. St. Julian's, Malta. Okay. And um, our date, I told you like um, two weeks is okay. So let's, let's assume from January the 1st to the 15th. Okay, one room, one adult. 
And another thing that is very important we should take note of, make sure that whatever accommodation you're looking for, whatever accommodation you're searching for, you are looking for the one that has free cancellation, no prepayment needed because the intention here is just for you to get your accommodation confirmation. That's just it. This is all you need to submit your visa application. Okay? Which, at the time of the free cancellation, you can go ahead and cancel it. I mean, this is all you need. Then when your, your visa is out, you can go ahead and book a real accommodation, you know, get a, an apartment or so on. Remember, we are doing this just for your visa application. So you're going to look out for only those hostels or hotels that are going to give you free cancellation and no prepayment needed. Please remember, look for the cheapest one. Um, for this one, 1,770, 722. I'll just look for, see this one is 197, but there is no option for free cancellation, so I'll skip. Free cancellation, 790, no. 640, you know, this one looks good, breakfast included, but let's see if I'll find something cheaper than 640. Then if I don't, then I'll go with that. Um... So far, I don't think. Okay, I can see um, 4.45 free cancellation. Let's see what this says. All right, so this is one I found for 402 euros for 14 nights. I mean, if there's any cheaper one you can find, please do well to check it out. Let's check this one out. Mm, Non-refundable pay in advance. Um, this is not what we want. We actually want... Okay, now the option for a free cancellation. Because you have to see what they have and then select. For a standard twin room, we have free cancellation until 11.59 on 27th of December. I'm making this video on the 13th. Yes, I'm making this video on the 13th of December. And if I go with this option, I have a free cancellation until the 25th. I remember that the date I chose is for the 1st of January to the 15th of January. So this is actually a good one. You just have to be very, you know, careful. Set your reminders and everything so that you do not forget to cancel before the 25th. Okay, so we can go with this option. So for this option is 445 euros. Please make sure you read through to see and be sure that there is free cancellation because this standard room has a free cancellation. This is what we want. For this one, triple room, non-refundable, there is no free cancellation attached to this. So we are not going for this. So I think the best um, option here is this standard twin room. Free cancellation. Pay nothing until 25th of December. Fully refundable during free cancellation. You see, you don't have to pay anything until that 25th of December. If you forget to, you know, cancel, then your debit card or credit card, whatever it is you used, is going to be debited. So you need to be careful. So let's select this and reserve. You know, you just go ahead, fill in your details, and yes. What is the primary purpose for your trip? Um, work or leisure is none of the above. Next step. You're booking with free cancellation, and you have to go through it one more time. Total price, 444 euros, and all free cancellation until... 11 23 59 on 27th of december more details so you see you may cancel free of charge until four days before arrival if you cancel in the four days before arrival the cancellation fee will be the total price so please make sure you read everything and be sure i remember i said this is just for your application okay 
So make sure that if you're going for this, I would suggest that you even cancel like on the 23rd or on the, yeah, on the 23rd, 22nd. And if you're submitting your application, your visa application, let's say you're submitting it tomorrow, please do this like the day you're submitting your application, maybe like early in the morning. It doesn't take time. You get your, your accommodation order and just attach it with the rest of your visa application documents. And that's it. Okay? So even if they try to verify, it's still valid for like, you know, some number of days. So click on final step. When would you like to pay? You see, they are even asking the option of when you like to pay. Pay at the property, pay on the 26th of December 2023. So definitely I would um pick on you know pay on the 26th of December. Let's even have the option of um pay now, but obviously we are not paying now. All right. So finally I got my booking um confirmed and you see just like that I've got my confirmation order. This confirmation order is what I'm going to, you know, send um, together with my other visa application documents. And that is it. Let's just um, go ahead to view this. My booking is confirmed, confirmation number and PIN code. Let's go over to my email and let me show you what the confirmation order looks like. Thanks, your booking is confirmed at Aligo Hotel and yes thank you this is just it's so so easy very easy honestly and we do not have to spend a lot i guess it comes with a pdf um okay there is no pdf attached well even if there is no pdf attached no problem you just have to click on the three dots here and print all that's it. It's as easy as that. Of course, you print in a um, portrait and download it to your phone. Now, this when downloaded to your phone, it's, it's downloaded as a PDF file. And that's all you have to attach as your accommodation confirmation. That's it. Because here yeah, it is stated that said I have a booking confirmation in Aligo Hotel. The date is stated. Everything is stated here clearly. So you see why I say we should do this the same day we are submitting every other application document. Be so that if um, whosoever officer, um, visa officer that is in charge and they wish to confirm if this is true, at least they have, you know, I think a week plus to confirm and it's still very valid before, you know, you can cancel freely without having to pay anything. Okay, so until the 27th of December, I don't have to pay anything. From the 28th, it's clearly stated here, I have to pay 486 euros. So you see, very, very easy. So this is for those that do not have, you know, enough money at the moment. You just want to be sure that you have your visa first before you start spending on accommodation. Because at the end of the day, if you actually go ahead to get a real hotel and something happens and you do not get your visa, I don't know if it's going to be refunded, if the money is going to be refunded or not. But then after you get your visa, then why not go ahead, look for a really, you know, um, hotel or hostel close to your school that you're okay with, with the price and go ahead and book. Then after you arrive in Malta, you have a week or two depending on how many days you booked at the hotel to look for a proper apartment. I hope this um, video has been able to help one or two people out there. Please, if it has, tell me if you've liked, shared, and subscribed. Please, please, please subscribe to my videos. It would mean a lot. I would really appreciate that if we like my video, subscribe, and share, okay? Please help me get to 1,000 subscribers and of course, to also get um, my 4,000 watch hours, I'll really appreciate that. Thank you all if you've watched to this point. Have a wonderful day. And the next video I'm going to be doing is going to be on travel insurance. So please stay tuned. Have a wonderful day. Bye.